Today we're going to review part number K2HR712. This is the Kodiak disc brake kit with the 13 inch hub and rotors. It has the 8 on 6.5 inch bolt pattern. This is designed for 7,000 pound axles and it has a raw finish to it. Now these brake assemblies will make it easy to upgrade from drum to disc brakes for better performance. The disc brakes will give you more consistent stopping even at highway speeds and they'll be dramatically shorter stopping distances. Also the maintenance cost is a lot lower than for drum brakes because you'll have fewer moving parts to maintain, repair, or replace. Now the hub and rotor right here, it's an integral hub and rotor which is all one piece, all combined. And because of that it'll minimize your lateral run out to prevent any warping. Provides a smooth ride because it's a balanced hub and rotor combined. It does use industry standard bearings and seals. They are sold separately. Now the races, if you can see, they are actually pressed already into here. You can see the outer race right here and the inner race right on the inner side right here. Now it is a vented design rotor, so that will prevent any heat-related problems with it because it will dissipate the heat with those vents. It does include the wheel studs, the half-inch diameter wheel studs already. Now on the calipers, there's an e-coat finish on both the calipers and the brackets. This will provide corrosion resistance for fresh water and salt water use. The calipers themselves are a cast iron caliper. They are self-adjusting for smooth equal braking. The cast iron construction does not flex like on some aluminum ones. It has a low drag design which will retract that piston farther than any other calipers and will give you a cooler running brake. The silver cadmium plated piston right in here is two and a half inches in diameter. That's about 30% larger than a lot of other brands. And since it is larger, it'll give you more braking torque than the competition. And if you'll notice the red parts, these are the high performance ceramic brake pads. Now the brackets themselves, they are an iron bracket. They provide strength and durability. If you notice the way they're constructed, you can see it does have a nice side support here design that will ensure that the load is placed on the full bracket not just on the bolts. Up at the top here where you thread in the caliper bolts does have extra embossing for additional thread contact. This will ensure a nice tight secure mounting for your caliper guide bolts. And if you'll notice this is actually a five bolt brake flange mounting configuration. This is a bolt on plate. You can actually get a weld on flange if you'd like. We do sell those separately. Now basically this part number is everything shown here on the table. It includes everything for two full brake assemblies. The two machine cast are the machine finished cast iron hub and rotor assemblies. The two E-coated cast iron calipers. The two E-coated iron caliper mounting brackets. And the four stainless steel caliper bolts for attaching your caliper to the brackets. Now also you'll need when you install this is a hydraulic brake actuator and brake lines which we do sell separately. They are, will be required for the brakes to be activated. You do want to make sure since you're buying or switching over to disc brakes you want to get lines and an actuator that will require a PSI rating of at least 1500 PSI. And again the specs on this it fits axle capacities of 7,000 pounds and the axles will have a 42 number spindle on them. The wheel size you'll use would be 16 inches and larger. The bolt pattern is an 8 on 6.5 inch bolt pattern. The diameter on the rotor is 13 inches. Wheel lug size that fits on this is a half inch. And one last thing on the brackets, they are the 5 bolt brake flange configuration. But that should do it for the review on part number K2HR712, the Kodiak disc brake kit with the 13 inch hub and rotor and the 8 on 6.5 inch bolt pattern.